Welcome. So today we're going to look at uh, the VB script, the functions and subroutines. So what is the difference between them? In my previous video, we created the subprocessors, and in this video, like we're going to create both subprocessor and also the function, and we're going to look at the difference, like why the function returns a value and why can't the subroutine. So that way, you know, like uh, uh, what are the scenarios where you can use the subroutines and the functions. So this is the theory part of it we discussed before. Function is a, a series of statements enclosed in um, function and, and some function. And the subroutine is also a series of statements that enclose between sub and end sub. The difference between them is the main difference. Function returns a value and subroutine don't return a value. So we're going to look at this difference. So I'm going to create a script and then I can explain better how, what, where, where are the scenarios you can use the subroutine and the function. So let's create a script. Okay, so I'm going to log in with the username and password. Then I continue my scripting to create order. All right, so this is an order. Zero four, zero four, and the date. Then you can select all this information to create order. Okay, so it insert order, and now I'm going to capture this order number using this output values. So we discussed this output values in the in my previous videos. If you didn't see it, then you can watch those videos as well. The concept behind this output values. So I'm going to capture this output value, and then click on top of this number. Then you got this output value properties window. Click OK. All 
and now we are going to click OK on this window as well and now you can close your application and uh, stop recording so this is how the script is created and now we are going to create different functions and subroutines and let's look at what is the best scenario where you can go with the subroutine and what's the scenario where you can go with the function so this is pretty much you can do the subroutine for this because it don't return any value right so this is how you can do the subroutine for the login whereas here you are going to write the function and the function name say create order then you're going to move this towards end of the script and now you're going to say here the end function and because this create order is going to return an order number and then you want to return that order number once you run this function that is where you can use this function and then the beauty of the VB scripting is you can return all those order numbers to the function name itself you're going to say create order is equal because this whole statement is going to return the order number so this way you can return the order numbers here so you're going to put here the the other order number whatever that order number it gets here it stores into this variable and this variable is nothing but your function name so this is the best judgment what you can do if it is simply login because you don't return any value okay this you can use a subroutine whereas in this case of create order Oh yeah, just here I'm getting order number. That's where I can use the the function because I want to store that order number. I want to return that order number. Okay, so this way, like you can uh, use your uh, better judgment where you can use the function and the subroutines. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Now you got the concept behind the subroutine that don't return any value function returns a value thank you thanks for watching this video see you in my next video bye and have a good day